Hello YouTube, I'm back again. This is uh, a little informational video about when you become monetized. I, like I, I became monetized um, and uh, end, toward the end of the middle of the July, after, toward, the, toward the middle of the July and, uh, of 2021 this year. And uh, I'm beginning to find out a lot of things about YouTube guidelines and policies that I didn't know before. I thought I knew, but I guess they must have changed. Uh, it's certain things and information that you can't tell people on YouTube or else you'll get a warning or your video will be taken down and then you have to have it reviewed uh, or you might even get a strike yeah and uh, you know usually I get a warning or I have a video taken down and then they usually review it and they'll put it back up because Obviously, whoever's reviewing them and to put them up, they're not doing a good job. They need to replace them because I, I put a video up about my little dog walking in the yard and they tagged it. I mean, I mean what? Yeah, but they would tag your videos too. So I'm just saying, uh, those of you who are planning on being monetized, follow the YouTube guidelines so that you don't have to go through having your videos reviewed on a constant basis like me i'm just telling you the mistakes i made but by talking you know i'm kind of i'm not controversial i don't even have a big channel i just say what i believe you know but then they would tag you and give you a strike or take the video down saying that you're in violation of youtube guidelines See, now they might tag this and say I'm in violation of YouTube guidelines saying that I'm in violation of YouTube guidelines telling you not to do certain things. See, I haven't even said anything that you can't talk about, but everybody knows it. It's an unwritten law that they would do it and then they'll say it, that it's under uh, uh, YouTube guidelines. Yeah, so I just want you to know that uh, they're watching. I mean, they've been watching me long before I got monetized, but now that I am monetized, I got to be extra careful on things I say. It would take a lot of fun out of my videos because I want to say a lot of things. In a lot of videos, I don't say things because they already warned me and tagged it and do whatever, you know. But, like I say, it's their format. It's their show. I'm just renting spaces and they my landlord. And that's all I wanted to say. I didn't want to make this too long. I just want everybody to know that if you're a content creator like me and you got a little bit of controversy in your subjects, you know, because I don't just only talk about prep and I talk about other things like aliens, the paranormal, ghosts, religion, and a certain thing I can't talk about, but you can't talk about them. I mean, you can talk about them, but you can't be really controversial about them, okay? And that's all I wanted to say because I'm not the only one. There's been a, quite a few of my fellow YouTubers out there that, that done switched over to other formats because their channels done got yanked or banned or put in YouTube or jail, as they say. And that's all I wanted to say. I just want all the content the creator, creators know that once you become monetized, you're at the will of YouTube. So you got to be able to go along and with their guidelines or uh, whatever they tell you not to get into where you violate their guidelines. That's all I'm just going to say. You know, and if you don't want to be monetized, don't get monetized. We, if you're happy being able to say anything and do a lot of things you want to do, not to say that they won't come and get you then, but most of the time when you when you costing them money, when you be monetized, they will go after you even harder. That's all I'm saying. Thank you, YouTube.